Hello everyone, today I'm doing another review of a Moonster leather journal. This one is called the Heart Journal and let's check it out. It comes in this attractive gift box. Let's dark brown, it says Moonster on the cover right here. And let's take up the lid. This is the journal, so I said it's called the Heart Journal and it is very similar to the Tree of Life journal if you've watched that review before. This one is pretty much the same journal except the embossing on the cover is different. So let's check it out. It's a wrap tie journal. Let's take this off and here you can see the beautiful cover and it's flowers embossed in the shape of a heart. It's really pretty in my opinion. And it makes a great gift for girls, I think. There's the spine, and here's the back. It has um, a lot of imperfections on the leather, which makes it more attractive because it is natural water buffalo leather, 100% genuine leather, and it's um, naturally tanned. So that's why every journal will look slightly different. And the dimensions are 8 by 6 inches or 20. 20.3 by 15 centimeters and it's about an inch and a half thick or about three centimeters thick. All right, so let's open it up. You can see there's the inside. It's really nice leather quality. It feels smooth on the inside too. Some leather journals are pretty rough on the inside, but this one's fairly smooth and has a nice feel to it. And then it has this leather flap to protect the pages and it says Moonster right here. And that's the only place where you will find the company logo on this journal. So it's a little protective sheet right here. And here you see the paper that's been stitched to the cover right here. So this is what that looks like. And it is a 125 GSM paper. It's off-white paper and it is uh, tree-free paper. It's made from cotton. So it's acid-free cotton paper which gives it a nice archival quality. And it is extremely fun and fun and since it's cotton it feels pretty soft. I don't know if you can see that there's a nice texture to it but it feels pretty smooth. And there's some imperfections here and there throughout the paper, like this right here. But in my opinion, that gives it a lot of charm because it has this vintagey, raggedy look to it. So that's kind of cool, in my opinion. Let's check out the writing sample. Here we have a pencil, a ballpoint pen. 0.4 millimeter gel pen, 0.7 mm millimeter gel pen, and then we have a fountain pen, the Palette Metropolitan Medium Nib with Dimey Marine ink. And here is the back of the page. There is hardly any ghosting at all. You have to look pretty closely to see it. And there is absolutely no bleed through. So it's a super fountain pen friendly paper. It feels really nice to write on this paper because it has a softness to it. And as you can see, it lies fairly flat as well. So it gives you a nice writing surface um, when you write on it. So it's, it's really enjoyable to use, in my opinion. Um, let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, I think this is a great journal for like travelers, writers, uh, mixed media art, if you're slightly artistic. I don't know how well this would handle watercolor, but um, Maybe if you don't use too much water, um, it might actually work with that as well. I'm not an artist, I'm just a writer, so I don't know. But it, I think since it's thicker paper, you can do some art in this journal as well. So I think a great gift, in my opinion. Looks really cool. And you can find it on Amazon. I will put a link in the description box. And they have a great price on it right now as I'm posting this review. I don't know how long it's going to be this low, but if you're interested, check it out. 
and if you have any questions about this journal feel free to leave me a comment for more no notebook videos subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching